Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Kiara Helen and today I'm going to be guiding you through an advanced level technique that is going to side on the side of intermediate. These are foot locks. Now foot locks can be very, very challenging and we'll work our way from intermediate to the advanced level. Now the advanced level is going to demand a significant amount of upper body strength. Now, it, no, I'm not saying that you can't work your way up to it because you absolutely can. You can try this move over and over and over again until you get up there. That's honestly how I get a lot of my um, advanced level moves is that you kind of just try things over and over and over again until you get it. And it's really just in the practice that way. So that being said, the foot lock is going to be wrapped around our foot. So if you have any like foot issues, this might not be the pose for you. You can always try it, see how it feels, and then come out of it if it's not for you. Um, so that's just the only contraindication that we really have to worry about. To get into the first pose, we're going to need to know how to do back wrap. Surprise! I always come back to this wrap. It is one of my staple wraps. If you're practicing with me for a long time, you know that I absolutely love this wrap. If you're not sure how to do it, you need help, you can click up here or up here. I have no idea where the space is. Or you can look below me to the description bar below. Hello! Regardless, before we get started, like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz, all that nonsense, and let's get started. So, so we're starting off in back wrap. I'm gonna take the hammock to my sacrum. I'm gonna kneel because my hammock's really low, but you can always do that regular walk back like you normally do. So you walk back, you walk underneath your hammock's rigging points, and you're holding in your egg pose. From here, you're gonna wrap the legs around the hammock, and then slide down just a little bit, flex the feet. You're going to reach up, above the legs, catch the hammock at the backs of the knees, and pull yourself up into the straddle position. My hammock is so low that I can kind of stand up. But this is where you'll find yourself. And this is a little bit of a tourniquet situation. You will feel that squeeze of the hammock. This is not comfortable. There's a lot more coming, and it's going to be aimed at the feet. Foot torture, love it. So from here, we know this pose. We're gonna slide down a little bit and we're gonna do some crocheting of our right leg. So, from here, bend the knees, slide down a little bit. You're gonna take your right leg and you're going to wrap it around the hammock so it looks like this. Notice how my little foot is wrapped around the fabric. That's what you want. You want this sort of like foot grab. We're gonna utilize this. So from here, you're gonna reach up on the side where the hammock, the foot is not attached to the hammock, and you're gonna push that leg around. Your knee will start to bend, and you'll be up here in this pose. It's a really nice place to kind of find some shapes and some movement. Now, from here, you're going to bend the knee and point the knee up towards the sky. The knee is kind of towards the nose. And then you're gonna lift yourself up towards the hammock that is attached to your foot. Now this is our first foot lock. This is a nice place to be. Kind of nice, kind of painful. And what I mean kind of, it, it's painful, right? So you can find yourself in a couple different ways. You can take this hammock, whoops, you can take your hammock off of this leg, like so, and then flip it around in front of you. Keep the hammock behind your back. Arm comes around, and then you kick it out to the side. And then give your foot a little bit of a rest here. You can take the arms out to the side, you can grab that back foot. There's our, there are a tremendous amount of things that you can do here in this pose, especially if you have an extra 10 feet of fabric. I'm not one of those people. I have an 11 foot rig. So I can't show you all those moves. Not today. So from here I'm going to bend. I'm going to unwrap 
this. And now see how I have so much fabric? I can turn it into a little wing situation. Point the toes, you can do little flutters, but be very careful to keep your center of weight, your gravity, onto here. When you're ready to come down, you'll hold on both sides, extend the leg. You can do some like really pretty moments here. You can rest down and then hold. Unlock the feet and there you are. So that is our intermediate level to like advanced. Um, we're going to go into the advanced one and uh, find some fun moves there. Give your feet a little bit of a rest um, between them because you can lose the circulation in your feet, which is not fun. You get all those like little pins and needles and all that sort of stuff. So give yourself a little break if you need to before progressing onto the next move. So we're going on to foot lock, and you may notice I have changed outfits. That is because I am a magical person and I can change outfits at will. No, uh, this is the next week <laughs> from filming this because, wow, this move is extremely hard. This has taken me like nearly a month to really get, and I'm not even close to perfecting it yet. So let's talk about this foot lock. So when you're up here, you have a couple things to think about. You want to be high enough so that the legs can split, but you also want to be low enough so the legs can split. So there is a Goldilocks story with this one, with the weight distribution and how much fabric that you have. If you have more than six feet of fabric, sorry, six meters, six meters of fabric. You shouldn't run into this issue if you have like seven or eight meters of fabric. This shouldn't really be a thing. But for people who are working on smaller rigs, for people who have a smaller amount of fabric, this is going to be something to have to keep in mind as you're practicing this. So let's try this out. I want to say I have to say try <laughs> because this is still really tricky. So getting into that square stance, legs wide and up, you're going to, well excuse me, you're going to hold on, elbows in, pull up, wrap the leg around once, and then take the top of the fabric, lean back slightly to get the foot under, and then stand, stand, kneel, out, get yourself up. From here, same thing. Leg wraps around once, crochet the foot, top of the hammock goes to, to the top of the foot, and then you step on it. Bend the knees, bring the knees in, and then you're up. Now, you could find a pretty back bend here. Yeah. It's pretty nice. You can split, which is what we're here for. All right, wish me luck. Legs going to split. You kind of see how my back leg is, is kind of bent. If I had a little extra fabric, a little extra height, notice how the legs wouldn't have this issue. So something to think about while you're here. When you're ready to come down, you can come down gracefully. And then you release the foot down. Now, if you're still struggling with trying to figure out what to do with the foot and like how to get the fabric around the foot, I got you. I filmed a little mini tutorial. It's tutorial section over here. Um, it's tutorial within a tutorial to show you a little bit more in depth how to do this pose. So let's do it. So imagine my arm is your leg, my hip is your shoulder. What you're going to do is the hip, the leg, wraps around the fabric once, 
and then goes in for a crochet for a loop here. From there, you're gonna lean back slightly, and the top of the hammock is gonna come over the top of the foot to the underside of the foot so that you have something to step on and you're really held in here. Something you wanna keep in mind, pretend my fingers are your toes. You wanna make sure that all your toes can get out, otherwise it's just not gonna be comfortable. I'll show you that again, maybe from the side this time. Hip, foot, my hand is the foot, my arm is the leg, my, the hip is my shoulder. I wrap it around and then I come under, crochet the foot. Lean back, hip, leg, lean back, top of the fabric, crosses over the top of the foot to the underside of the foot and then you step on the fabric. Okay, that's with both sides. So remember, not too high, not too low, just enough. Find length through the hip flexors, especially through the inner thighs. All right. Square stance, legs wide, toes point, hatch at the arches of the feet, bring it up. Okay, and here we go. Elbows in, lift, wrap the leg around, catch, crochet, and step. You can extend here for a pretty moment, bring it up. Leg comes to the outside of the fabric, outside of the fabric, wrap it around, crochet, lean back, over the top of the foot, good, knees in, and if you like, here, lift up, right, here's the, here's the moment of truth, and out. And that's it, <laughs> gently coming down. And that's it, folks. I hope that you're able to get this move. It's really tricky. It's something that I am still working on, but I really wanted to share it with you because it's a lot of fun. If you do end up doing this move, tag me. I'd love to see your progress, what you're doing. Let me know if you have any questions. You can always shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'm always happy to help. And that is all. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that nonsense. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care, bye. Be safe, stretch out those legs afterwards, you know, do little foot rotations, bye.